failure, ruin. I'm going to go grab my files. One of you will have to um, step up to be chair. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Okay, great. Okay. <clears throat> Janet, do you want me to put the um, agenda on the screen for you? No, I have it right in front of me, love, because awesome. it was Oh, it right. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Okay, so it's um, May 13th, 120 p.m. Um, and we're beginning our Board of Health meeting. So um, our first variance is for 45 Grove Avenue, Catherine Cushman. And I think we have David LaJoy here who's probably gonna uh, represent the project. Okay, great. Good afternoon. Uh, David's here. Hi, David. Hi, David. Hi, David. Hello, David LaJoy from Falco. Uh, Ms. Cushman. Existing uh, dwelling where they need a new septic system. It's an existing four bedroom septic system. The site's impacted by several wetland areas, and we're, we were lucky to be able to get uh, the system in, including one variance, which is because of the waistlines of the dwelling, our septic tank and pump chamber are going to be above the existing natural grade in the flood zone. Uh, both the tank and the pump chamber will be waterproof and watertight. And our buoyancy calculations have shown to make sure that neither one of those pop out of the ground uh, in the event of a flood. Are you happy to answer any questions? Are there any questions or comments? I would just uh, like to did, did go before the Conservation Commission um, at our last meeting. And it, oh, no, I'm sorry, that's the other one. Yes, I haven't been. I go next to your next meeting. Okay. Yep. Hillary, uh, any uh, any uh, comments, Hillary? No, none. Just the one variance. Yep. And it's interesting, Katie, that uh, the deed says it's a two bedroom, but it's a four bedroom house. Interesting. Well, actually, um, Doug came over and did a bedroom count. Good, good. Um, it's always been a four bedroom, but for some reason they considered the downstairs that has three bedrooms in it as one large space. I see, I see, and okay. There's one bedroom upstairs okay. and three bedrooms downstairs. Small, all small. Okay. I don't have a motion. Above the, how far above the, uh, the natural grade is, is the tank? Uh, both tanks are around elevation 10, and that's going to be the invert of the septic tank is off septic. elevation 10, so two feet. All right. All right. I have okay. a motion if folks are ready. Okay. Uh, I move to approve the FELCO plan number 19082, dated 41920, and grant the one variance requested in the letter of 42820 for the upgrade of a septic system to serve a four bedroom structure, a grandfathered non conforming dwelling, design flow to be limited to 448 gallons per day to serve four bedrooms, um, no increase in habitable area without Board of Health Review, no conversion of use without Board of Health Review, well water to be tested prior to the issuance of a disposal works construction permit, deed recording, and an annual inspection of the pumps and the alarm, and any other equipment. All in favor? I'll second. Aye. Aye. First, aye. Yeah, aye. aye. Nick, Nick, you gave Red. her first. Gary, okay. All in favor? Yes. yes. Aye. Okay, you got it, Katie. 
Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Katie. Okay, um, and the next one is 120 Compass Hill Road, Welkley. Owen Dye. Good afternoon, David Joy again from Felco. It's an existing property where we have another four bedroom dwelling that exists and they need to just upgrade their system, septic system. Right now they're using cesspool and um, property is impacted by an isolated wetland to the north side of the property and the coastal bank on the west side. We were able to be uh, in excess of 100 feet from the actual salt marsh. We are minimally within the 100 foot buffer zone. We're also 48 feet from the isolated wetland. Um, and the leach area has an 84% capacity, so we're requesting a 16% capacity reduction. Similar to the other, the last project, because of the existing waste lines in the building, the septic tank and the pump chamber are also going to be above the existing grade in the flood zone. We have two minor sideline setbacks from the north and from the west. And the system is pressure dosed. Yeah, but answer any questions. Um, Hillary, any questions? This is the one that went before the Conservation Commission. Okay. okay. And this lot okay. is pretty small and awfully tight to work in. So I think there isn't too much he can do besides what he's done. And the pressure distribution okay. does give us a better level of treatment than just a standard Title V. So that's good. You okay. think that's enough, Hillary? Hillary, the pressure dosing with it, that 48 it, foot? It meets the requirements of our current regulations. Oh, it does? Oh, okay. But so maybe we'd have to go to an advanced system. Okay. Well, we're not, our, we're, it's not within 100 feet, is that correct? No. It's only 48 feet from the wet, from the uh, isolated wetland. I was just, wetland. I was wondering if uh, the isolated wetland, so I was wondering if the pressure dosing was uh, mitigating that enough. You know, well, to, for isolated wetlands, Hillary, we don't usually do that we uh, innovative okay. for isolated okay. wetlands. All right. Okay. Very yeah, good. it's the other, it's the other ones, uh, Nick. Salt yes. marsh. The leach, the leach area decrease. What is Okay. I thought it was at least 50 feet, but okay, my mistake. It's it's kind of like the quality of wetland, Nick. Yeah, I understand. Okay, any well, further questions? Gary? I was just going to say, the, the, reg the regulation says um, at least IA is required when you're within 100 feet of right. salt marsh or a water course. So like a pond or something like that. Okay. Yeah, which is which is what we always require. Yes, okay. correct. But but Not these isol these isolated these isolated wetlands sometimes are just a pain in the neck. <laughs> well, there's the harbors all around there though, Gary. I mean, you just got to be. You know, I was just curious. Yes. Gotcha. So I have a motion if we're ready or. Okay. Okay, I move to approve the Falco plan number 19037 dated 41420 and grant the five variances requested in the letter of 42820 for the upgrade of a septic system to serve a four bedroom structure, a grandfathered non conforming dwelling. Subject to the following conditions design flow to be limited to 440 gallons per day to serve four bedrooms. A reduction in leach area is requested, a 26% reduction providing 373 gallons per day. No increase in habitable area without Board of Health review, no conversion of use without Board of Health review, a well water test prior to issuance of a disposal works construction permit, deed recording, and an annual inspection of pumps, alarms, and other equipment, please. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you David. Good afternoon. Thank you, David. Thanks, David.
Okay, next we have an animal permit for 95 Indian Walk Road, a request for a chicken coop from Peter Abram. That's me. Hi, Peter. Hi, can you guys hear Welcome. me okay? Yes, thank you. Yes. yes. Great. Okay. Hillary, Hillary, do you see any issues? Um, pulling it out right now. We have one letter from an abutter. I don't know if Susan is on the line. So we have one letter from the neighbor. Um, if Peter can walk us through his proposal first, and then I will read the letter. Okay, Peter, you're on. Okay. Um, so basically my proposal is to build a ch chicken coop and raise uh, laying hens uh, on my property. Um, the proposed location on the property is on the site map um in terms of um uh i mean the coop itself it's going to be a pretty standard coop that i will build myself um the details are in are in the proposal um i guess in, in points of importance that you may want to address uh the manure management plan that you asked for is also addressed in the proposal we're going to be i'm going to be uh doing it myself uh, self uh, composting and uh, using it on the property uh, with our gardens. Um, let's see what else. Um, I, I've sent letters to all of all of my butters about a month ago. I got direct direct communication with a couple of them saying that they were happy uh, about about it, but um, not all. I've sent. Um, uh, electronic uh, delivery notices from all of them sounds like some of some someone has has decided that they want to attend the meeting which is fine if they have any concerns um, and uh, now we the property area is a little compact compared to maybe other parts of Wall Fleet um, I understand one of the things that you would like is to um, keep the uh, the coop more than 100 feet away from from all wells ours and neighbors included so that's not really possible on our property but um you know if if uh i mean certainly it's very much in our own best interest to keep the, the, the to not pollute the waters for our, us or anybody else so if that if that's an issue we will be happy to consent to um a, a water uh, test a, a regular water test or whatever and um, I can't really think of anything else. Peter do you have um, a recent water test or no? Um, that's a good question Hillary you know my my um, my father did a did a water test very, maybe a, maybe a year ago to, te to check the water okay and, let uh, me and found nothing. Um, I just want to go and grab your file and see if we have one there. Um, my other thought is that you're about 60 feet from your well, and it looks like your neighbor's well on parcel 25, who I think that's who we have the letter from, her well is 40 feet from your property line. But her cesspool or her septic is closer. So I am her 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 septic is closer to your chicken coop. So I just wanna um, look at that very quickly. So I'm gonna grab your file. Um, okay. And I can read the letter from the abutter so the board can consider that while I'm off fetching the file. How's that sound? Okay. All right. Dear board members, I am the owner of 55 Indian Walk as shown on the attached subdivision plan. Lot 20 is not vacant, but is our backyard and contains a storage shed. I am sure this was noted when you made your site visit. The proposed location of the coop is clearly the best location from the standpoint of the location of our residence, which is very close to the southeast corner of the applicant's property. However, based upon the size of the residential properties and the serene nature of the neighborhood, 
I would prefer to not have anyone raising chickens in close proximity to my property. I would also object to any increase in the number of chickens in the future. It is my understanding that this is not the applicant's primary resident, which creates a concern for how the chickens will be taken care of when they are not residing in Wellfleet. Very true to yours, Susan Galata. And I'm just going to grab a file so we can take a look at that. Hey, Hillary, um, Katie Murphy has her hand up to ask a question. Sure. You uh, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. I can't hear any audio, and I don't know if someone could uh, help me with that. Maybe I need to be in again. This is Katie Murphy. I'm sorry. We can hear you, Katie. Can you hear me? No, she obviously can't. I yeah. just can't hear anything. I don't know why. Maybe I need to hang up and... Um, Are you on a phone, Katie? Well, she can't yeah. answer. She can't hear me. Okay, Janet. <laughs> I think the issue is if she's on a phone and not near internet connection, it won't. It doesn't well, connect as well. Connect. Yeah, and she mentioned she was going on her way to a pond, so she yeah. was walking can, to a can pond. Can somebody type that to her in the notes while I'm perusing the file? Or okay, so Peter. Hillary. Peter, we don't have a recent water test for your property. Um, I think you and I spoke about this on the phone because the lab was closed when you were filling out your application. The lab is now open. Um, <clears throat> however, you have to deliver the samples directly to Barnstable County between one and four on uh, da, 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 Monday through Thursday. Um, alternatively, I think Envirotech was picking up samples um, from Ace, Ace, True Value, and East Ham, whichever hardware store it is. is Ace. Ace. Ace, Ace. yeah. On Route 6. Okay, and so I am looking at the neighbor's parcel here. Um, I just want to make sure I get this right. Um, you're Hillary, was she a little bit more specific about what the nuisance factor would be? No, I just, you know, I, I probably, she just said she likes it serene. Yeah, that, that word serene kind of got me a little bit because I think that that's a, you know, let, let's find out where her well is. Let's find out yeah, how that, close the poop exactly. is to it. And if it's going to inconvenience anybody, let's make it Peter. You know, well, and what I'm looking at. So have, Peter is parcel 12. Um, but that, that's, that's the whole right to form declaration. That's well, that's the whole thing about is the idea that, that what exactly you know, is serene is not is something that, much or something? Exactly, exactly. What is, what is she talking about? Yeah, we, that doesn't work with us. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Hold the thought. I'm just putting it together. So, so his. Nick, what do you have against serenity? No, I love serenity. But I'm saying what, what, no. what <laughs> problem? But if chickens, if chickens are going to interrupt her serenity, she's got a lot of work to do. Well, that's what I'm saying. Come on. You know. <laughs> uh, that's what correct. exactly. I can see if serenity she said what yeah. anyway. right. I'm, I'm a serene. Gary, I'm serene. I'm okay. You are serene. You are. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> I mean, intuitively, I would assume 
she's worried that I'm going to get roosters. Well, rooster. Well, I, I can understand yeah, well, a rooster. Right? And sure. that's reasonable. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I, you know, roosters are loud. Um, I, I can understand roosters, but chickens, I don't know. You know, unless yeah, there's something. Yeah, I, I just want to get laying hens. So yeah. they're they're. Well, they're pretty, kids, in, they're my opinion, in, in my own view, they, they they add to serenity. Yeah. But you know, that's, Peter, you can't get pretty, a rooster. But, uh, Peter, it's not a question. Is if you want to get no, a rooster, you can't. you can't get a rooster. Okay, that sometimes you get it by mistake. I cannot. You might get it by mistake. Yeah. You have you'd have you'd have to get special permission. Yep. Yeah. Understood. From from Nick, who's very serene. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, can okay. I ask you a question? Okay. <laughs> Peter, do you have you have frontage on Indian Wall? Is that correct? Because these two plants don't line up. Um, it looks like your parcel, parcel twelve, sits behind parcel thirteen, and I'm not sure what is actually in front of you. Uh, what is in front of us? It says a dirt Indian Walk Road, it says. Yeah. The road yeah. is in front of us. Uh, Indian Walk is in front of us, yeah. Okay, so maybe you have two combined lots, lot 12 and lot 13 is what I'm thinking. I okay. see. Um, it does appear that the neighbor's well is 40 feet to the property line. Um, so I don't know if we want him to move the coop closer to his well. Well, that, that's it's what it's I would think. If it's going to inconvenience anyone, it should be him, not the neighbor. Yeah. Well, that I was going to say, if, if he can remain a hundred feet from his neighbor's well, then you know how he impacts his own well. So that would actually push his coop to the other side of his property. Oh, right. yeah. Peter, I don't know if that's amenable to you, but it Bullet would. Be, work. It, um. Yeah. I mean, basically. Uh, our, our, our take, the other well. There, there, there was a there was a reason for putting it on that side of the property. Um, we could put it on either side, and it would not impact me. Uh, oh. It would not impact impact to us. Uh, okay. my, my my thought behind it was because the Sanchez's who reached out to me directly and said that they they're happy that I have uh, 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 would have chickens. But their daughter is living in the in the property year round, and the Dempseys on the other side are never here except for maybe a couple weeks in the summer. So I thought, well, I put it over on that side because there's nobody ever there. Um, so nobody, it would, it wouldn't, it would, there would be almost no impact on that side of the property. Is yeah, the so I was just thinking in that regard. What what's this proposed well that's over here on the other side of the property? There is no proposed. Well, we do have we, we have one well. It, it's always been in. All right, do, the same but do you spot. see that plan there? Yeah, it says proposed, but that is the location we have their well in. Oh, I have that their. Well, that, that was like 1980. That was 1989. Then it was an old yeah plot plan, I think. Oh, okay. Because I see when the well upgrading. right next to the four bedrooms right. at the house. The existing well. And on my plan, it says proposed well over here. It might be a little out of date. It might okay. become the real so, well. So, so so moving that over wouldn't be a problem. Okay. I think moving the coop to the other side of the property um, would better serve the abutter that's concerned about her serenity. Yeah. Um, and we want to make sure we have that maximum separation between the well. Because Well, hold it now. Uh, um, is, I that's actually, our... I, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm interrupting you, Gary, but this is important to point out. The Galatas live on the opposite side of the proposed chicken coop location. So the Galatas and the Sanchez's are next to each other on one side of my property and the Dempsey's on the other side. And that's where the proposed coop is. is oh, going. so, so these you are don't you even are on the side already. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, and so if you look, if you look at the, uh, the, the site plan that I provided to each of you, the little square uh, yes. where it says like coop and I'm pointing an arrow right. to where it says coop that's right. next to the Dempsey's property so the Galatas Susan oh. Galata she's on the other side so the opposite that's side is the Sanchez's right and then if you go south of the Sanchez's that's the Galatas and they're they're doing some some renovations right now if that they probably had to go to you for permission to do that that might help I don't know the lot numbers I apologize oh okay so the, so this is so it is on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it is. So that's a moot point. 
Well, it's not a moot point because on this plot plan, it might not be the Galatas. I don't know who it is, but it's still 40 feet to the well on what appears on this plot plan that, that Peter submitted as 40 feet. So we want to make sure that he's not 40 feet from the neighbor's well. well um, uh, uh, Hillary, can I jump in? Yeah, of course. Is that a well? Uh, uh, is that a, it's our standard policy with uh, with these things to, to have the, it located 100 feet from the abutters wells. Isn't that correct? Yeah, as much as is possible. Um, right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So if he, if we've got the ability to be a hundred feet from the abutters, well, I think that's what we have to do, so just like, if, like we require everyone else to do. Correct. That's my th that's my thinking. But I'm also concerned about this. Um, uh, what was in the letter about um, not being there full time and what happens with the chickens? Could that could that be addressed? I guess that's a question to Peter. Peter, do you live here full time? What uh, yes, this is my primary address. Um, Susan Galata probably thinks that because we've been here for about uh, about 30 years now. And for much of that time, we were summer residents. Okay. So she probably views us as summer residents. But uh, s since then, um, you know, we've, we've, we've spent a lot more time here in the last two years. I've moved, I've moved uh, Indian Walk out to be my, my own primary address for one year now. And, um, and, and I live here with my father, who's here, you know, most of the time, not all the time. So we are, obviously, I'm not going to be leaving chickens out here to, be, to, to fend for themselves. I'm, I'm a responsible adult who knows how to take care of my, my, my animals. Um, but we are here, so it's, it okay. wouldn't do this if we weren't. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. So what's our what's our choice? Can we? I am opening up the assessor's map here just to gain a little more clarity. So yeah, we can put the coop on either side of the property. We've got space on both sides. Okay. Um, so it's really if, if if there's an issue on the Dempsey side, we can move it over to the Sanchez side. It just that just so happens to be a little bit closer to the Galatas who appear to be the only neighbors who seem to have an opinion. Everyone else's opinion has been quite positive. So but on the other side, you're 100 foot from their well though, right? Yeah, really? I think that's our, that's our concern but, is maintaining that 100 foot yeah. setback from the well. And it, and it would be a little bit closer to the Galat as well. The Sanchez as well is all really quite far away. Um, yeah, but the thing is if you, let's say you move it over the other side, what happens? Because I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe put it in the middle of the back of the lot and it's away from everybody's well, is that a possibility? That would be very yeah. exposed. That would, would be, be very exposed, yeah. And we've got, we've got a garden back there, so it would be a little tricky. Okay. Um, it, it's, it's either, if it's on either side, it's very tucked away. It would okay. fit quite well. And, and, so, on either, and, and on the other side, it's not near any neighbor's well. Uh, it's, on the, it's, not, it's, it's, it's over 100 feet away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, on both sides. I would say on both on, so I would say the Sanchez's well is quite far away and they're happy about the chickens. Uh, the Galata's <laughs> well is in the back, is in their backyard. So as it is now, it's more than a hundred feet from them. But if I move it to the other side, it would probably fall within that hundred foot radius. It might be 70 feet or something like that. Um, so uh, where it is now, it's probably it's probably about sixty or seventy feet from the Dempsey's well. Uh, I think the forty feet is forty feet from the property. But then, if because we've pushed it down closer to the back, it's probably sixty or seventy feet away. Um, and um, so at, uh, on on the side, the proposed side, the only the only well that it really the only neighbor's well that it infringes would be the Dempsey's well. And on the other side, it could potentially infringe on the Galata's well. Um, there's really nowhere in the property to put it that it wouldn't infringe on somebody's well, to be honest. Um, but that, which is why I'm, I'm happy to, you know, protect the water um, and, and improve and, you know, and make sure that we're not doing anything to that because we, we do want to be good neighbors. And of course, we're incentivized to protect our own water as well. So. You know, if, if that's the concern, then 
we'll do whatever we need to do to, to make, you know, to, to protect everybody. Gotcha. Okay. So what are you finding, Hillary? Maximize the distance between your coop and all of the abutting wells. That's exactly my thought. Yep. And then once you have it cited, um, submit to us something that shows the exact location. I think, I think my proposed location is the best one. Even from a well, a well distance standpoint, there might be a difference of 10 feet on one side or the other, but that's what we're talking about. Okay. Do we have those numbers in front of us right now or do we have to get them? We just have, it just says less than 100 feet and the plot plans don't go together. One is older than the okay. other. So it's not easy to... Um, Could we get it eventually? And maybe, it would, maybe not to vote on this today, but... I think we need to ensure that, um, that we've done our due diligence in, re in requiring um, uh, uh, Peter, who we want to have a chicken. We like chickens. We right. want him to have chickens. It's just that we want to make sure that we're, he's, uh, he's being treated and he, he's doing the same things that we've made other folks do over the years with no. their uh, wells, uh, you know? That's all. I'm just trying to be consistent with our earlier. And you know uh, what? What goes on today, as far as reaction to neighbors, can change with sales. So the the more due diligence we do to make sure that we're trying to meet every border, the better right. the future will be. Because people sell houses, you know, and they and you get new neighbors who aren't serene or once That's serene. correct. Yes. No, he's got a right to have chickens, and he should. He have does, chickens and he, he should wants to have chickens. It's just that we just got to make sure that he has is, is maximized his distance from the well so that alleviates any abutters concerns, even though they may not like their damage to their serenity, uh, at least their well is okay. Right, right. <laughs> so in looking at this, it's really quite difficult to read, but... Um... The, now the, 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 the site plan that I obtained from the assessors um, uh, office is in terms of the well locations is quite accurate. So you can, you know, you, yeah, so there may be some change, some small changes here and there with borders or, 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 or you know, uh, housing additions, but the well is where it is. It, no, it, it no, is accurate. I understand that. And her well is 45 feet from your well. You know, it's just believe, that we no, know it's 45 feet from, from the, the property from the property border well looking at the plot plan for the property for 55 indian walk which is way um oh which, oh the galatas yeah okay yeah which was done in 1995 it appears okay. that her well is 45 feet from your well so yes. well to well you're 45 feet apart so okay. if you add the 45 feet from her well that sounds very accurate, yes. I mean, then you're, let's see. You know, I, I guess what we might want you to do is mark the well on her property and tell us exactly how far your coop is, your proposed coop is from that well, because I mean, looking at plans is only so good, but if you can actually right, right. that distance, uh, that would be I mean, better. it's the, the, the site plan itself is is quite accurate. Like I said, um, if it, it, it's 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 fit to scale. So, forty five feet from the Galata's well to my well, I would say yes, that is what it is. Um, and then you know, so it, it, considering the Galata's are on the other side, I would say that they are. It's probably you know, seventy to eighty five feet from the Galata's well. Uh, I would say it's a little bit less than that to the Dempsey's well. The Dempsey's well you, is a little bit less. It's it, it's probably sixty or you know, probably about sixty five feet or something. So we're 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 you know we're we're nitpicking a little bit between maybe sixty feet and seventy seventy five feet. Um, I it's pretty comparable. I don't know that we're nitpicking. It's, it's difficult. 
it, it's important for us to know the exact distance. That's why we ask it on the permit right. application. Less than 100 feet, I mean, could mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. So I think what, what we really need to know is what is that exact distance from your coop to these other properties? Because your site plan is quite old, so it's not easy to, for us to get that information. And that doesn't mean we're going to have to prove it yet. But I think, I think having exact numbers from a, a more recent assessment is needed for us to make a decision. Don't you? Well, I yeah. think it helps I agree. Us it helps I agree, us too. I agree. I agree. I agree with Janet. <laughs> That's because you're so serene. <laughs> so I think the easiest thing for Peter to do is to mark the neighbor's wells and measure the distance and get us a plot plan showing that. Okay. Well, Absolutely. Yep. And maybe once it's marked, uh, Hillary, I don't know if Doug, if it's possible to do a quick site visit to, to see, you know, put some eyeballs on it. I mean, we, we can. I guess I would just feel better knowing what the exact distance is. Right, but right. I well, I we want the, I was talking about it. both. Yeah, yeah. Follow it with a site visit, yeah. Exactly. Okay. And when is our next meeting? We're, we're meeting frequently, right? We've been meeting. So it's, well, we, we're not, when it's not every month, Peter. What is, what is it, next week? We don't have another meeting scheduled, but um, we can certainly talk about that. Our next scheduled meeting is June 10th, um, but we can set something up sooner than that. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind ju uh, jumping in sooner to to resolve this issue. Yes, I would too. I would. I would too. Okay. Do we need a recent water test? Um, that would be good. Yeah. That's that would be a real good thing. Okay. So let's see. That um, would be excellent data. Could we go for Wednesday, May twenty seventh? Sure. That's two sure. weeks. That gives him some time to do some work and. Got it. You want to do it at one o'clock again? I like one o'clock. Yeah. yeah okay. Peter, do you have your tickets already ordered? I mean, are you? Uh... No, I, I I don't because I I yeah, we'll get you stuck I, with it. chickens without I, a coop. So. I've been trying to really be above board with this. I've been really right. okay. I appreciate um, it. Well, we want to help you get it, sir. We're, we're okay. on your, we're, we're 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 supporting you. We really are. Yeah. And we may end up after looking at all the data to say, okay, your original plan is the best. It might, that might be the case. Or we might have to move, tweak a couple of things. We don't know yet, you know, but let us get the data. Okay, so it sounds like you need me to provide two more things. The first thing is um, uh, uh, to show you uh, basically uh, the two proposed locations, one on either side of the property, the current one, and how close it is to the Dempsey well both of them and, the, oh. and then the other and then the second the alternative location on the other side abutting which is next to the uh, sanchez property and closer to susan galata's property the 55 indian walk and uh basically to give an ex to take the current site plan that i already have i'm not going to make a brand new site plan um and then to basically say exactly how far Locate. it is yes. from both of those wells, so that we exactly. can pick no, right. which one is farther away. I, that's that's my understanding. Um, right. And then the second thing you need is you're asking for is a water test. Yes. Like I said, I believe my father did a water test on the property recently, but I don't know what recently means. A year, yes. within a year, something like that. He probably did one last summer. Um, you know, it would be like great. That. Um, we would have a record of it. Within a year would be reasonable, wouldn't it? Within a year? Yeah, but, that, but yes, Hillary said she know, but I don't, I don't have a copy okay. of that in my file. So if I need to, you don't have a copy of it. So I either need to provide you with a copy of that right. water test. Right. Right. Or, or if I can't find this water test or if it was done five or 10 years ago and I was mistaken, which I, I it's my father did it, not me. I, and I, he's not here. He's in the other room, but I'm, I'm trying to. <laughs> keep my focus with, with you guys. Um, the, uh, uh, I, I guess I could get a water. Hillary, you gave me some basic um, 
uh, instructions on what I have to do to, to provide a water test, which is basically to get some water from my well, which is easy, and to, to submit this sample to S S Enviro, someone or other, one to four, Monday to Thursday. Um, Wrong. Uh, Wrong. <laughs> but you can drive it to Barnstable County on Monday to Thursday from one to four. Barnstable County, and that's in Barnstable. Barnstable? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I guess I can do that. So we'll move this back to the May 27th uh, meeting? Yeah. Yeah. One o'clock. Yeah. All right. All right. So be it. Did you take a vote, Janet? Um, do we, we need a vote? Okay. All um, I propose that we um, discuss the site for the for the coop for um, um, we continue Indian Walk Road in Wellfleet for um, Peter Abrams at our meeting on May twenty seventh at one p.m. At which time he will have a exact measurement of the wells of both uh, on, of properties on both sides in the proposed site of the chicken coop and also the results of a water test or a new water test done on his property. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. So, uh, we didn't get a second. I'll second. Thank you, Gary. All against? Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank First you, everyone. Bye-bye. See you in two weeks. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So we have Jay. Hi, Jay. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, Katie. Oh, Katie. Oh, Katie's here. Katie, 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 right Katie. Don't forget Hi, about Katie. 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 Hi, sorry about interrupting you? the meeting earlier and losing the call. Now I'm in the car with uh, it charging. My, my okay. phone died. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay, so, um, okay, so Katie, um, you want to go over your plan for your chickens with us? Uh, sure. So it's in the uh, northwest corner of the property and it's 187 feet, I think, from the well. We're getting eight chickens. Um, just for eggs um, and for Violet to learn how to care for animals. And um, I can answer any of your questions. Uh, shoot, I just can't. Uh, let me know what you need to know. I'm not quite sure what you guys need to know. Well, I think what we're looking at is uh, what we're looking at is. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm having an echo. Right. Sorry, I'm having an echo. Right. <laughs> can I? I can't hear you. Um, 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 I have an echo. So, um, yeah, our coop is like 10 by 6. I'm actually ordering like the top part of it from a company that makes them. I forget the name of the company right now. Um, we're going to have a little run, and it's a quarter inch um, wire so that all the animals can't get in. Um, we're going to do the apron thing so we can't dig under. Um, and do a deep litter, the deep litter composting system. So you don't uh, have to change it, like go in and out cleaning it all the time. Uh, I'm gonna store the chicken food in my basement in, a, in the bulkhead, so. Um, it looks like you're, you're, it's like you're, you're, you're uh, you only have one of butter, Katie. Oh yes, that's important. Did, did um, get, yes, did, the we, did, we get, did we get the uh, location of their well and relate to the chicken food? We we have the um, location of the well, and she they are over a hundred feet. From that. So this location, um, location is um, easy to see. It does meet. It does meet. Um, I think we can. I think we can go ahead and approve this. Approve this. We're, 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 we're getting a bit more. Getting a bit more. Garble. Garble. 
<laughs> I can't. You guys are breaking up a little, so if you ask me a question, please repeat it. Sorry. I'm like, I'm at Long Pond. I don't know if it's me or. Hillary, can you explain that? Can you explain that? The, the deep uh, litter system? Sure, like I'm just learning about it. Yeah, um, I'm familiar with it. Yeah, familiar with it. So it's like, you know, I wish I could tell you exactly how deep it is. I think it's like a, okay. Okay. Um, just learning about it. My partner knows more about it. I think it's like almost like two feet deep of this. Uh, there's like shavings or what you normally would use. But it's so, uh, it's like a compost. You just keep turning it over and you only have okay. to change it twice a year. Does it stay in the chicken coop? In the chicken coop? Yeah. Honestly, my partner knows more about this than me, but it's what people who grow who have hens a lot do, and I guess it makes it so that you don't have to constantly be changing the litter. Um, and it's sanitary, obviously. It's like, but I guess it's so deep. I don't, I'm obviously I'm not the expert on this. Sorry. I'll, I can totally tell you more about it and send you an email about it. Does it have a name? Does it have a name? Yeah, it's called deep litter composting. I think. Okay. Okay. I wonder if it's in the rat. Tested. That was my Sorry, question. Up. My question. Uh, did you say I'm sorry, rat? Gary, I'm sorry, Gary. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. You're wondering if it uh, if it doesn't really work, then it would attract rodents more. Yeah. Fair enough. I don't think uh, my partner would have been really interested in doing that if it did that. Yeah. But I yeah. will yeah. look into that and make sure that it doesn't. And of course, if it did, because we, we have a quite the, problem. quite the problem. Yeah. It'd be oh, good for I us know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I do know about that. So yeah, we would do everything um, necessary to make sure that we did not attract rodents. So if that meant changing from this deep litter system, then of course yeah. we would do that. Yeah. Well, give us Any just a questions? chance to look into it. Chance to look into it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Hillary. Hillary. Yes. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Nope. I would take nope. more. I would take more litter composting. Litter composting. I think, um, I, um, responsible homeowners don't homeowners don't own rats at their property. Rats their property. Right. 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 If that's, that's going to be the case, that's, that's going to be the case. Not going to go, really not with, gonna go with. with. I'm comfortable, I'm comfortable with. I'm comfortable with having your head with this. Head with this. this on the um, on the um, litter compost system or system or. To use. Right, don't break it up. Right, don't break it up. Right. All right. All right. I couldn't understand that. I couldn't understand that. <laughs> so I've got her like in the back with the very back eating like as many potato chips as she wants. Can you hear me or your eye? Me or your eye? No, some no, someone so, has someone, someone has, has their phone has on their so phone that we're getting a feedback. I wonder. Maybe Katie. Hey, is that you? It it might be Katie. Katie I think. Maybe Katie. Might be Katie. Oh, that's better. Could you okay, hear Hillary. me? I said, I said, I think we no. can go ahead and issue the farm animal permit. I okay. think get us more information on the deep litter composting, exactly. okay. and if that's not the right method then they will switch to another method but okay. I think right. they're responsible enough they're far enough from wells where they can um, play with it figure out which figure right. out what works. I don't think anyone wants to attract rodents to their property right. Um, right. they multiply quickly and it's difficult to get rid of them so I think we can yeah. go ahead and go with them. Katie Katie um, I, yes, I'm. I had you. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna let you know that it's hard for me to hear because I had you hooked up to the car system, and I think okay. that's what was causing the feedback. And now that okay. so we're gonna, it's so what, okay. what, what Hillary just um, said, she, she thinks that you're responsible enough to. I can hear you now if I hold it up to my head. Um, let me okay. just turn off the video. I'm so sorry, you guys. All right. All right. Let me get you out. Huh? Um, okay. I'm sorry. Continue. Okay. So Hillary said that, well, if you want to say, Hillary said that she's sure that you'll be responsible and that if this doesn't work, you'll, you're not in the de desire is to have rats in your place. So you'll change Oh, it. absolutely. But, and absolutely. I wanted to just put a PS to that, that maybe being, we've never heard of this, we would love to see your, hear your evaluation of it. Because yeah. it oh, might thank be, you. 
think we could yes. recommend yep. to other uh, people who want to raise chickens if this would be a, right, Hillary? Yeah. I mean, if this, something like this works, it sounds wonderful. Yeah, I will send you that information today. Like, a, I have it at right. home. Just, I'm, <laughs> don't have it right now, for and sure. Katie, yeah. the only other thing we'll need is $8 for your eight chickens. Okay, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. And again, I apologize for um, being kind of a pain um, during the meeting with the baby and uh, everything. Um, and also, thanks for all your hard work, you guys. I know you're doing a lot of stuff. Thank you, dear. Um, you're welcome. We motion on this? Do we have a motion on this? I move to approve the farm animal permit. Okay. Second. Uh, I don't have the address. 2240 right. Pinewood Circle. Uh, Pinewood... Uh, Pinewood Circle. Yes. Second. I made the motion. I'll second. Nick. All I'll in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you again. Welcome, okay. Enjoy your days. Thank you guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Um. So Jay, now we have Jay. <laughs> have you been enjoying this? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love the feedback part. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. How's Second everybody Ellen. doing today? Good. 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 So thanks for having us on. Um, I'll just give a brief update. Uh, I also have Mike Sakali on the line, too. So you can Mike. elaborate on anything, Hi. too, um, if I miss Hello. anything. Um, so basically, as you all know, we've limited operations at the transfer station over the past, you know, a few months uh, to align with the governor's orders and uh, with essential services and making sure that we maintain, you know, uh, household trash disposal and um, the recent single stream recycling proposal um, into the uh, facility, which I have to give kudos to Mike and his team for that. They really stepped it up and and have been really innovative and creative and maintaining social distance up there and keeping the staff and, and public um, safe. So the, the next plan is to open up yard waste and demo and um, other pay items to the transfer station facility. And we are ready to implement that on Monday, May 18th. Um, so that will be uh, phased into the equation again. So, um, the only thing that will change there is that it's gonna be check only um, to provide more of a safe transaction for the staff. Mike's come up with a plan to have more of a hands-off approach uh, with a somewhat of a, like a bank teller um, operation where you put the check in a, in a, uh, you know, a, a drawer and then that's mm -hmm. connected into the, the guard check. So um, we will still have uh, communication via um, handheld um, walkie talkies for the public. Mike has put a, an order in for a, a more of a advanced PA system um, that will be here soon. It's, it's stuck in China at the moment, unfortunately. Um, but um, other than that, it, it, it looks like we'll be back, back in business on Monday uh, for, for full operations. And uh, Mike, great. I mean, if you yep. have anything else um, to add to that. No, that's that. That's the sure. question that uh, I had was uh, was the contractor waste. That was my big uh, uh, because we've noticed an uptick in uh, random dumping. Yeah. Unfortunately, yes, yes, right. yeah. We, we we understand the need, and we obviously appreciate everybody's patience during this. Um, you know, we really have been trying to just align with you know what the governor has been um, you know proclaiming in his orders. So. Um, we're hoping that everything will be back to normal soon. Great. Great. And, uh, Hillary, do, we, is there any way we can alert the contractors, uh, that it's back open? Was that to me? Any way we can notify the contractors that we're back open? Yeah. Um, I think we put it on our website and folks will spread it like wildfire. I don't think Perfect. we need to. <laughs> Word of mouth. Oh. Sounds the other thing I wanted to mention too is uh, the pay as you throw bags, the purple bags. Yes. Um, we are recommending that um, that ban 
um, continue. Um, so people don't need the purple bags anymore until uh, Labor Day. So getting through the summer yeah. season um, and, and mainly for uh, reasons to discourage people needing to go to certain locations to acquire those bags um, in addition to any economic hardships that people are having. Um, so we are recommending that, you know, we continue to, uh, you, you know, temporarily not allow, not um, we ask the public to use the, the pay as you throw bags. Okay. Well, I, I think we need to talk about that because one of the purposes of the purple bags is to encourage recycling. Mm -hmm. And um, is that what we're saying? We're willing to do that through Labor Day. I mean, I don't know about that. You know, I mean, whether it's single stream or multi stream, the idea of the purple bags is when you have to buy them, you're going to recycle. And that data has been proven everywhere. Right. Been, so, I mean, I think in the emergency we had to do it, but I don't know what anybody else's feeling is on it. Well, uh, my question is, Hillary, can uh, uh, in terms of the, the budget, is that something that we can swing? Um, we can. We can swing it. Um, I think people want to recycle. So I, I guess we know that the purple bags help. We also have heard from a number of members of the community that they want to be recycling. They're angry that they can't be recycling. So I feel like the amount of folks well, the amount of folks in our town that would want to put their recycling in their regular garbage bags, I think is low. I think the purple right. bag helped to increase that obviously, but- um, What about the summer? I can, I can speak to that if I like. That's what worried me a little bit, Janet. It's yeah, not yeah. like our regular people. I mean, not that they're yeah. not our regular people, but we're less familiar with them. Can, can I, I ask think that point? Yes, Mike. Uh, so when we could not recycle, uh, we were going through uh, a lot of trailers throughout the week. And since recycling has been back in place, purple bags or no, um, I have not had to change that trailer this week. Oh. So, that, you know, I, I think Hillary is right. Um, this is a very green conscious community and they like to recycle. <laughs> yep. We sure do. We sure do. Well, I, I think if we can swing it, then I think we should probably do it if we can swing it. All summer? Uh, I would go with that. If we can, if the budget allows that we can, we can make it, then we should probably do that because the, it's going to be a crazy summer, I have a feeling. And it might be interesting for us to... Um, to go this summer without the purple bags and take a look at what that data says because yeah, I was gonna we, say, are, yeah. we are always yeah. getting pushback on the pay as you go and maybe we'll be surprised and see that the numbers are the same or you know I mean I don't know yeah. I think it would be interesting to look at the data. Yeah, I think so pay as you throw bags. Data. I think that's Mike. probably monitored. Yeah Mike you could give us that data. I mean if, if Mike is the, yeah, I, 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 it's, it's, yeah uh, the recycling data. I've actually been trying to get me after that purple bag data for a few years. Um, but another, another point to that is um, maybe just make sure that one of the things that pay as you throw did was eliminated a lot of commercial haulers. You can't bring residential trash to wealthy without purple bags. We don't want to see a lot of packers come in just because we have lifted that. Maybe just make it just for residential, you know, the, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That was my other, that was my other, that he, he, you, you went to exactly where I was going to go about the commercial haulers. We can't w allow them to just go wacky here mm -hmm. because we saw what happened in the past. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's where your big significant decrease in trash came from with that bylaw. Yeah. I think if for residents. You can keep an eye on that, Mike, right? You can keep an eye on that. The and, we, yeah. right. and we can reevaluate it after Labor Day, Jay, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yep. That's but cool. The more data we have, the better it'll be, Mike. Yeah, I think so. it'll be sure. interesting. Yeah, I think it's a really good point to evaluate that data. I, I like okay. that. I, yeah. I, I, I think okay. that's a good idea as well. As long as we can, as long, like I said, as long as the budget, because those pays you throw bags do, uh, uh, they do contribute some budget. revenue, Hillary. Isn't that correct? Yeah. Yes, they do, but I mean, none of, 
I don't think any of us, Jay, Mark, or I, have doing it for much numbers yeah. since Harry Turkanian left, and he would like crunch them and like. Yeah. <laughs> like and I, I think the goodwill. I, I also would like to add a P.S. I think the goodwill in Jay's Jay's message that yeah. during this time of of potential financial strife, you know, along with the health and welfare and safety of our DPW staff. This is why, you know what I mean? So that, that, yeah. so that it's, it's, it's a good it's message properly. Exactly. Yeah. The right message, not yeah. saying, oh, we, we've given up on recycling, you know, we don't care about, you know, but we're gonna, that, that we're doing it mainly as an impetus for the community. You know, it's a community driven decision. Uh, and I, I think it's a good idea for the residences, not so great for the commercial haulers. <laughs> no, that's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, and again, and again, we it's it's not necessarily the commercial business trash; it's the residential trash that has, still has to be in the purple bag. Those are the packers that we do not see anymore because of pay as you throw. Right. I, yeah, there's a distinct. Well, what do you think we can do about that, Mike? Just. Uh, I mean, as, as long as maybe we just say that. Uh, just for uh, residents. Residents not require pay as you throw bags for residential trash, but as far as commercial haulers go, the not change. Business trash can be weighed up and thrown right. away, but no yep. hackers with residential trash as per usual. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. You got that, Hillary? Got that. Yep. I think okay. Mike can type it up and we'll get it on the website and we'll get Excellent. it pushed out. Great. So that's Great. good. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. You. Thanks for you all you guys job. what you do. Thank you. Doing a great no job. problem. Thank you. You too. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Then we have the minutes of March 11th to March 25th and April 8th. I read through them, and I, I, I'm the one that usually p picks up little things, and I didn't pick up a thing, and I, I don't want anybody calling me Helen Miranda Wilson when I sign out of the meeting. All right, Helen. <laughs> Good job. I knew I was going to get something, but I don't know if anybody else is That's, a, that's an inside joke. Helen... Helen is very diligent in assessing minutes. And I think uh, yes. New nickname. Those folks on my conservation commission too. <laughs> very diligent. Uh, very <laughs> diligent. Yes, yes, yes. But, but again, I my my question, and I, 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 we don't have to spend a lot of time on this. But my question was, uh, first of all, what, Governor Baker, what, what's going to happen on the 18th as far as? Governor Baker likes to put out his information Perfect. at the very last minute so that Okay, so we have it. It's, it's, clear. Not a, it's, it's unclear yet. I didn't know. Yeah, it's you unclear. Know, and we don't like Everybody's out, opening up on the 18th. You know, yeah, I mean, you'll find out on the 18th. We are not okay. privy to any information before. Matter of gotcha. fact, we get it after. So like when the golf course is opened up, we're the last to know. So um, I, okay. we'll okay. know on the 18th who's going to okay. open up and... We will then receive general guidance on what is going to open up and what those businesses are and what how they should be operating. Right. But as far as short-term rentals, that's something that we can make a decision on. Um, the, well, that depends on what the governor says. The governor says, right. Yeah. So sometimes the governor will make a rule and say uh, municipalities cannot exceed this in their stringency, and other times we can Okay. It looked like his early proposal was that very limited industrial operations were yeah, open. Yeah, one looked like industrial very, operations. I don't yeah. know if that's manufacturing or yeah, what that is, it, but... I mean, the guidelines, very, very slow process. Yeah. If he's actually saying there isn't going to be uh, act, activity as what we would describe as normal until there's either a treatment or a vaccine. Right, so right. This is what, what I'm saying is you have people yeah. on the outer cave, yeah. not just our town, who right. have their tongues hanging out for short-term rentals. I mean, that's right. their that's a very rep. difficult decision. No, this exactly. is their two months, it's you know, and, yeah. and, I, and it just scares me when I, when I think about what it could be, okay? Right. I mean, we've talked about short-term rentals, you know, in other ways, but, you know, that's all Airbnbs, that's all motels, that's all hotels, that's all short to all rental pl places and i you know? think that I, I think there's a big push from the business community oh, sure. um to get things moving and get things operating safely um yes. that being said i could have sworn i heard on my dph call i i lose track of days but this week that 
that camps and swimming pools were part of phase one. So wow. if camps and swimming pools are part of phase well, one and golf courses are open yeah. and restaurants are open, um, I wonder how slow this rollout will actually be. Oh, that's okay. And bus right. companies are going to be we'll allowed to wait. Yeah. Yeah. We're just going to have to wait. It's, it's all speculation now, so we'll wait. But, but I, 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 think, I think that one of the things that I, I think it's a tech, and I, I don't, I, I've been following him somewhat. I think he's got a very um, data-driven, right. uh, scientific way of looking at the data. And I, I just have, you know, if that be the case, I, I think any kind of, of a rollout will be monitored with testing and testing and testing and right. asymptomatic testing so right. that every employee feels right. confident and we have to be able to say to the people that come up here we are confident in Wellfleet the right way we right. can extend our hospitality to you because it's safe and if we don't have some kind of a, a, a metric that monitors how safe our environment really is I don't know you know I mean I it's I, I just think we've got a couple of weeks to be smart about it before everybody wants to come and we need to be like that. And I think the Board of Health should be involved in that, especially especially with the short-term rental. I mean, I think that the way to say, um, you know, you, you, you're gonna rent your house for a week, well, maybe it's gonna be, you rent it for five days, it's gotta be vacant for two, and this is the cleaning protocol. You know, so, you know I don't know, I'm, I'm just throwing that out. That's just something that, you know, I have nobody to talk to but the golden retriever, so. Um, <laughs> Forgive me, you know. And there's only one he way to doesn't be able answer to... me. He does not answer me, the dumb dog, you know? I guess I guess maybe I mean we just scheduled our meeting for May twenty seventh. The governor's guidance comes out May eighteenth, which is Monday. Is the twenty seventh too late? I, I don't I don't know. It depends upon what he says. You know, I mean I, I think I think I think that I think you know the the Board of Health and Hillary are going to need um, help. I think. I think we're going to. You know, we're going to have to. We're going to have to do. We have to do this intelligently, and people are going to be looking to the Board of Health to make those decisions. So and do we interpret. Well, the only way. The only, the only way we can tell what's coming into the community is to test people. Yeah. No, I yeah. mean that's the only. And that, how we do that, and what the resources available to us would be, it's hard to say. We would have to come up with a strategy. How do we? Well, what would we, we be comfortable with? But this is going to be such, a, it could be a tremendous influx, Janet, as you know. Well, yeah, I, I, I'm not looking for that kind of safety, Nick. I don't know if we can look for that, like testing everyone. But I think. Well, we I'm should, not saying everyone, but it's, you know. Yeah, I think we should have an idea of what the prevalence of the disease is in an right. asymptomatic form within our area, also, right. you know, before people. Oh, that'd come. be nice, too. You know, that's what I'm saying. So, 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 you know. You don't have to test everyone. You test the no, no a percentage. Yeah. Of, you can get an idea from a percentage of positives. Right. You know right. what what the status is, and that's what he's been basing his activities on. But we'll have to see. That's, that's he, the real and he's been doing that. He's been exactly. Doing yeah. But we'll have to decide. But we'll have to wait and see what his uh, the, yeah. the phase out involves, and then we can go from there. Yeah, I like that. Right? Is that all right, Hillary? Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's well, good. Gary, Gary's back to work now. So what can we do to make the meeting? No, he's time? here. Gary's still here. Oh, no, I'm here. I know I'm working. I'm oh, working at home now, work. but uh, I have to tell you, if I have to, uh, uh, if it has to be uh, in the after, you know, whatever time, I'll, I'll, I'll find a way to make time. Don't worry about me. Oh, you're such a. I'll fit in. You're so serene. Yeah. <laughs> tell that to Jody. <laughs> I will. I will. I will when I see her. Nice. <laughs> so, Hillary, maybe we we might have to meet before the twenty seventh. So, what does your schedule look like? You must be the Zoom queen. Well, oh God, um, next Wednesday I have conservation, so that's okay. tricky for me. That's why I was trying to look yes. at the calendar. And Thursday I've got a big CZM whoop to do um, at 10. What about Tuesday? Tuesday we have that emergency call. Um, What's that this Tuesday? I thought it was going to be every other Tuesday. But this, this Tuesday, Tuesday is... is Selectman and us. So oh, maybe oh. I could, you know what? 
Why don't we say 10.30? Can we say 10.30 on that Tuesday? Because, I, I mean, I don't really have much to share with the selectmen at this moment in time. Okay. You want the, the Tuesday the 19th, Hillary? Tuesday the 19th at 10.30. Let's just hold that. Is it too late to do that? No. No, I can do that. Uh, okay. What is today? Yeah, no, I'll do it right. I'll do it right after this. Okay, and it would just be COVID. Yep, perfect. Okay. okay. So let's just hold <laughs> Shut up. That's not Don Golden. He doesn't talk. No, ask my German Shepherd. He doesn't like right, the male. Like, it doesn't sound like the Golden. No. <laughs> Give me your spat. Where are you, spat? Hey, Hillary. Hillary. Yes. Can I ask a question? Either you or Gary. When, when systems are put above grade, you know, it's in the flood plain. Great. It's above above the flood yes, elevation. Right. Yeah. What is what is the, what are the problems? You know, I've never really understood why we have that. It would seem yeah. to me like it would be better to be above the flood elevation. Yeah, that's, I was curious about it. You know, we had two, it, so both I of those cases today. I was going to ask you or Gary. There are the details well, of. Come here, honey. Come here. Come sit well, down. The, the, the thing is, is that especially with the oh. tanks, you, you don't want them to float. Right. All right. So, it, the, so the buoyancy calcs are really. Are, are really, uh, you know, important in that regard. Um, the leaching area isn't subject to flood. It's just the tanks. Tanks, right. I'm just curious about what to look for when they say that. What do we look yeah. for, you know, to make sure it's secure? And I, I kind of just we're, we're looking at the We're looking at the groundwater elevation. Right. Nick. Okay. You know, and usually the, you know, flood elevation, groundwater, they're usually related. Yes, because um, Doug said something about they're they're tight. The, the tights they're very tight, like the almost like it was a tight tank, it, like that kind of a thing. And to me, that's something that would float. He used the he used the adjective. I thought he did when he was when Felco was explaining it. Yeah, yeah. What you, you because you can um, it, there's different techniques you can do to keep tanks from You're floating the, if they're not heavy enough. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right. So that's yeah, something we should uh, be uh, looking for. You know, when they propose this, you know, we should be looking to make sure things, the tanks are secure. Right. But this is one of the things that I know that Hillary looks at when she's reviewing okay. plans is the is okay. the weight calculation. The okay. weight calculations, which were okay. on. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I, I have one Thank more. You. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Just have one more thing. Oh, I never know how to do this. Here. <laughs> Can you see him? I, I, I don't oh, there him. he is. Where is Where? he? He's is right there. Now, we see you. <laughs> seeing you. Oh, there, oh, he, there is. he is. Hey. Well, Where is he? There he is. There he is. That's that. That's that. Wow, he stayed awake during the meeting. Surprised. <laughs> huh? I know. I know. <laughs> so. All right, right. guys. All right. Are you guys going to approve my minutes? <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh yes. I gotta, I gotta get to come to the new I move, I move that we approve the minutes. <laughs> Thank you. I second. Yay! I agree. I agree. We're back. Feel better. Okay. <laughs> Thank feel you better. so much. Yeah, hopefully you do. Yeah. I'm gonna go take a nap actually. <laughs> Bye. Well, have a good day. So when is the next meeting? Day, so. The 19th next, next Tuesday. Tuesday. At two next Tuesday, two thirty. Ten thirty. 10.30. Next Tuesday, 10.30. Okay. I'll send you a reminder email. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. I appreciate I'll that. Let you know. Courtney, right. you're feeling better? No. Yeah, uh, I'm getting there. Okay. Well, we're pulling for you. Thanks. Good All luck. Right. Bye, guys. Talk to you Bye -bye. guys. Bye -bye.